the cost of living crisis continues. Energy, transport, fuel and groceries are getting more expensive. There are fears that millions of households are experiencing financial difficulties. The cost of living crisis takes its toll on incomes and savings, and as a result the attempts of prospective first-time buyers to purchase a property have been impacted. On average, prospective first-time buyers plan to save about £45,000 for a deposit, increasing the time it takes them to get on the property ladder since they have to scale back their regular savings. While savings plans are being put on hold, mortgage rates are climbing, following a string of Bank of England base rate hikes. The average five-year fixed mortgage rate on offer for a borrower with a deposit as low as 5% was 4.5% back in early February it was 3.5%. A five-year fixed mortgage rate, with a 10% deposit has gone up from 3% to 4.2% over the same period. On the other hand tax changes and rising interest rates killed off landlords their profits. Investors have struggled to find buyers in recent months after appetite for rental properties dropped off, due to the exit of smaller landlords from the buy-to-let market. A series of punishing tax changes in recent years has been compounded by increasing interest rates and the introduction of costly energy efficiency upgrades mandated by law coming. Taxation is getting worse and increasing pressure is being placed on the wider economy, making many investments completely unaffordable. The combination of higher cost and unreliable income has made it harder for landlords to make a profit on their investment, with many of them heading to auction in search of a quick exit from the market. Landlords are forecast to have losses in rent this financial year as the cost of living crisis pushes the number of households falling into arrears to its highest level in more than a decade. The benefits of having a rental property have disappeared for many smaller investors. For many landlords having one property with a two or five year fixed rate ending in the next few months, the investment won't be financially worth any more. Rent freezing in Scotland, a measures intending to protect tenants during the cost of living crisis, will come into force immediately in both the private and social rental sectors and are expected to last until at least March 31st next year. As a result of that experts have warned that landlords will sell off their properties. Landlords that have a vacant property, as a result of this announcement, they are thinking to withdraw it from the rental market, and they intend to sell it, or keep it empty to sell it at a later time. Rents are being pushed up by a housing shortage, with demand far exceeding supply. Some of the more urgent sellers who are coming to market are pricing more competitively in order to capture the attention of a suitable buyer quickly. A quick approach for market exit is auction. It's a very quick process and gives landlords a certainty they can't find elsewhere. But selling properties at auction means targeting mainly other landlords, of whom there are fewer, and cutting out potential owner-occupier buyers. The pool of investors looking to buy rental properties both inside and outside the auction house has shrunk. It is now mainly professional portfolio landlords who will snap up these homes because they have bigger cash reserves immune to interest rate rises. The success rate of residential investment properties listed at auction has fallen in the UK over the past year. In the most recent quarter roughly 66% of rental properties listed under the hammer successfully sold, compared with 75% in the same period last year. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get alerts when a new video is posted. You are welcome to write your comments questions, or concerns you would like to share.